WFNN. Headline News Update. Welcome, folks. We have the Dow Industrials finished down 112. NASDAQ up 66. S&P's off two and a half. Gold. Gold contract up $5.90, trading at 1875 an ounce. We had silver down 21 cents, $23.77 an ounce. Light sweet crude up a buck, $74.79 a barrel. Notes and bonds. A 10-year note traded up uh, 10 ticks at 114.17. The 30-year up 16 ticks at 129.23. The 10-year right now is yielding folks 3.527 and the high for the last three months is 4.2 um so pretty wild and king dollar king dollar down 709 ticks 103 170 euro 107 yen 131 the british pound 121 to one U.S. dollar. We can over and take a look at the S&P's market in general, folks, okay? You had lighter volume, didn't hold price. That's saying you're going right back downtown and the consolidation. Friday, what do we do? Yeah, you break the consolidation. Volume was pretty good. Had 104 million shares in the SPY. Yeah, you were going into 117, but it was still good. Today, forget it. 68 million. You're closing out at 387.94. Bottom line, you know, you're not in the bottom. You're still above the consolidation. But when you get a trade that's like this, you're going to get right into it tomorrow. And what likely what you're also going to see is that we're going to have more volume tomorrow also. So you're just coming back, you know, from the weekend into the queues, you get the exact same type of setup. Now, what happened with the queues is that the queues didn't break out on Friday. You know, the breakout on the queues on Friday would have been 270. 15. Well, what we did, we broke out today, but guess what? You couldn't hold price. You broke out, you got the 275.29, you closed the 270. That's saying the queues are also going to go right back down to the consolidation. They both are in an ABC structure on the way down. And it's going to be all, well, <laughs> we'll find out it's going to be all about the dollar because it certainly wasn't about the dollar today. You know, the dollar got smoked out here today. It didn't help the market, didn't help the metal market. So it's like, okay, man, it's going to be a one-day wonder on the way down. And I suspect that's what we're going to probably see, meaning that the dollar will probably, by tomorrow morning, be right back inside this 103.448. And, you know, this will probably be, well, we'll see what happens. It's a false break downtown because uh, this market still wants a lower price. market wants a lower price. That dollar is going to be going higher. Have a great night, a safe night, folks. Come back and visit Tommy tomorrow morning. Kicks us off 9 a.m. Great show, folks. Look at him, folks.